Hey guys, Jessica back here with IELTS Energy TV and uh, today I'm going to answer a question from a YouTube subscriber about kitchen equipment. <laughs> IELTS topics are so random, you guys. Um, before I get to that, I want to tell you some exciting news. We are emboldening, that is a word, our guarantee for our IELTS course, the Three Keys IELTS Success System. Let me tell you a little bit about that, and then I'll get to the vocabulary, okay? So, you may already know. If you go to allearsenglish.com forward slash K-E-Y-S, you can see that we guarantee an IELTS score increase or your money back for the course. We are doubling that, guys. We are going big in 2018. Not only will you get your money back for your course, okay, if you do not increase your score, if you do everything we say, follow the whole study plan, and your score still doesn't increase, we'll give you your money back for the course, and we will pay for your IELTS exam. Let me repeat it, we will pay for your IELTS exam. You guys, this is huge. This is how confident we are, okay? We've been doing this for two and a half years. Our students see their scores. They get the scores they need and beyond. So that's how confident we are, and that's why we want all of you to get into the course and get past IELTS. Okay, let's get on to the topic today. You know, my hair's so short and I still do this. Can't stop doing that. Okay, so in speaking part one and uh, maybe part two, okay? In part one, you could be asked about kitchen equipment in the home, what you use. In part two, you could be asked to describe an object that you use in the kitchen. In part three, you could be asked about these objects uh, and future predictions for objects that may be invented and if these, these devices make us lazy. So, this specific vocabulary is a very useful, might come up in any part of your IELTS speaking exam. So most students just focus on the average, right? And what is average? It's a six. Stuff like refrigerator, by the way, don't say that, say fridge. Uh, microwave, oven, that's pretty much what students say. I'm gonna tell you some stuff that make your answers more interesting, okay? Um, so some other devices to consider, one, a coffee grinder. This is where you have whole beans of coffee and you put the beans in the machine, press the button, it grinds it up so you can make coffee. <laughs> I just ordered one, that's why it's the first thing I thought of. Because I accidentally bought whole beans, I didn't mean to. Anyway, coffee grinder. Next, also to do with coffee, a French press. A French press is a small, usually glass, sometimes steel container. You put in the coffee grounds, hot water, let it stew, or yeah, seep for, steep for uh, like a couple minutes, and then you press down a plunger, and then you have fancy coffee. So that is a French press. Also, an electric mixer. I really want one of these. It would make baking easier. An electric mixer. It could be a handheld mixer, right, where you press the button and it whirls around to mix stuff like dough and things. Um, a bigger electric mixer is when you have a bowl and it it does the, it has a big mixer that does it for you. Okay, so that's an electric mixer. Um, a juicer, very popular today. A juicer is just a machine that makes juice for you. You put in fruit, whatever, vegetables, it makes juice for you. Juicers. That is a word, okay? That is a device. Also, something my friend got for Christmas, a Bluetooth utensil holder. Hmm, lots of good vocab there. So um, hers is a wooden container and on the bottom it has like a black plastic platform and uh, you press a button, it connects to your phone via Bluetooth and it plays your music and you could talk on the phone and stuff like that. So. Lots of kitchen gadgets um, incorporating Bluetooth these days. Um, last but not least, an electric kettle. An electric kettle is something that is common in households in Britain, Europe, South Africa, but it's not common here, but I love an electric kettle. That's just a, a kettle that you, with a container with water that is connected to electricity and it heats, it makes hot water for you. 
okay? Um, so these devices, guys, this is what you should talk about because it makes your answer more interesting on the IELTS exam. It shows specific vocabulary. It does a lot to raise your scores, making your answers specific and interesting, okay? So copy down some of this vocab from today and practice using it out loud by yourself. Okay, guys, remember we have just doubled down on the on the guarantee for our course, the Three Keys IELTS Success System. Go to allearsenglish.com forward slash K-E-Y-S and get into the course now. Get past IELTS. Okay, guys, that's it for me. I will see you in the next video.